What's up, Star Wars fans? Today, I want to talk about some concerning news about the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and contrast that with some news about Rosario Dawson. But before we get to that, if you love Star Wars and speculation, then hit that subscribe button and come back again soon for more. But getting back on track here, the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is less than a week away, and we're getting lots of interviews with the various actors and actresses from the show. And the Grand Inquisitor, Rupert Friend, was interviewed by Entertainment Weekly, and this this is what he had to say. I really wanted to honor the character as I saw him, and so I almost deliberately did not see the animated interpretation. Myself and director Deborah Chow and writer Dave Filoni and all the guys really wanted to do something fresh that honored and was faithful to the spirit of the character without doing a kind of impression of anybody else's interpretation. And personally, I'm really happy they didn't try and do an impression of the Grand Inquisitor from Star Wars Rebels. But at the same time, if we look carefully at Rupert Friend's words here, he states, I almost deliberately didn't watch the show, which just makes it sound like he was too lazy to check out the one season that the Grand Inquisitor was in Star Wars Rebels. I mean, I'm all for the actor doing his own interpretation of the character. I mean, that was going to happen whether or not he watched Jason Isaac's performance in Star Wars Rebels or not. I mean, let's just take a moment and contrast this with what Rosario Dawson had had to say about Ashley Eckstein, the voice actor of Ahsoka Tano. In a recent interview with Vanity Fair, she said this, among other things, I'm building on top of years of work from so many other people. What Ashley did growing this character from a teenager on has given me a breadth of work to look at and build off which is so unusual. I mean, doesn't that statement just come across a lot more respectful to everybody that worked on the Star Wars Rebels and Clone Wars animation series? And hey, I'm not saying that Rupert Friend intentionally tried to disrespect those people working on the animation series. From this interview, it sounds like he had Dave Filoni behind him when it came to this idea of not actually watching Star Wars Rebels. But I think any Star Wars actor or actress taking on a role that was first in animation should be paying his or her her respects to what came before them. Now, the animation performance aside, it is important to point out that Rupert Friend does actually understand the Inquisitor's backstory leading up to this moment in Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he is also familiar and has read over what happens to the Inquisitor in Star Wars Rebels. So that certainly makes me feel much better, but I think ultimately what's concerning here is how Rupert Friend leaves himself open to interpretation, making it seem like maybe he didn't respect the animation performance as much as he should. And you're probably like me and have seen many headlines that are taking advantage of this, which hopefully will be a good lesson for other actors or actresses stepping into a Star Wars role that was first started in Star Wars animation. But hey Star Wars fans, that's my speculation for today. As always, I'm Mike, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.